Hello, welcome to 2018 election night if Hillary Clinton is president. Tonight we have Mitch McConnell facing off against Chuck Schumer for the control of the US Senate and we also have Brian Sandoval facing off against Brian Sweetser from the state of Montana facing off for the control of the US NGA. Now let's take a look at some results from 2017, the gubernatorial races in Virginia and New Jersey. In Virginia, we had Ed, Ed Gillespie win um, instead of instead of the Democrat in Virginia, and S, Ed Gillespie in this scenario won in the state of Virginia for its gubernatorial race. In New Jersey, it came right down to the wire, but Phil Murphy was able to pull it off. Um, this was a Democratic gain from, it was previously held by the Republican Chris Christie from the state of New Jersey. Now let's take a look at the current 2018 Senate. The blue states are, are those that have two Democratic senators, the red states have two Republican senators, and the grey states have one of each. And then again with the 2018 NGA. It's now time for the 7 p.m. poll closings. In Vermont, Bernie Sanders is the projected winner of the Senate race. In Virginia, a very close matchup here between the former U.S. Senator, which was Tim Kaine. Obviously, he's the VP right now. So Terry McAuliffe has stepped in to run for the Senate. He is facing off against Corey Stewart. In Indiana, Joe Donnelly and Mike Braun trying to win a Senate seat in the state of Indiana. This is a Democratic seat. Braun is currently leading. In Vermont, Phil Scott is the projected winner. In South Carolina, Henry McMaster will go on for another four-year term serving South Carolina. In Georgia, it's too close to call between Stacey Abrams and Brian Kemp. Brian Kemp has a considerable lead. In the United States Senate, we can see 24 Democrats, 43 Republicans. And in the current 2018 NGA, we have 6 Democrats, 10 Republicans. It's now time for the 7.30pm poll closings from the states of West Virginia and Ohio. In West Virginia, it's currently too close to call in the Senate race here. Um, very hotly contested. Joe Manchin currently behind his Republican opponent. Patrick Morrissey. Patrick Morrissey is currently leading. The same situation for Jim Renacci in Ohio. He's currently narrowly leading his Democratic incumbent, Sherrod Brown of Ohio. Then in the Ohio governor race, Richard Cordray is currently behind Mike B. White. They're facing off for this gubernatorial seat. In Georgia, we can now project Brian Kemp is the projected winner in Georgia previously too close to call, and in the United States Senate we can see 24 Democrats, 43 Republicans, and in the 2018 NGA, 6 Democrats, 11 Republicans. Now it's time for the 8pm poll closings. In Massachusetts, Elizabeth Warren is the projected winner. In Rhode Island, the Senate race here, Sheldon Whitehouse, the projected winner. The main race in Rhode Island is the gubernatorial race. There's a very close matchup in Rhode Island in the gubernatorial race, a very close matchup also in the gubernatorial race in Connecticut, Chris Murphy the projected winner of the Senate race, in Delaware Tom Carper the projected winner, and in Maryland Ben Cardin will go on for another six year term, in Maine Angus King is the projected winner, in Mississippi Roger Wicker will go on for another six year term, in the special election of Mississippi Cindy Hyde Smith the projected winner, in Tennessee, they're currently facing off Phil Bredesen and Marsha Blackburn. Currently, you can expect pretty much Blackburn to win at the end of the night, but right now it's too close to call. In Missouri, too close to call between Hawley and McCaskill. It's too close to call there. In Florida, it's currently also too close to call. Rick Scott, the former governor, facing off against incumbent Democrat Bill Nelson. In Pennsylvania, Bob Casey currently behind his Republican opponent, Lou Barletta. This is very interesting. In New Jersey, Bob Menendez currently behind 
his Republican opponent, Bob Hugan. However, there's, there are some more Democratic counties to be recorded. We'll see if that's enough to win him back the, the Senate seat against Hugan. In Alabama, we've got a, a string of governor wins for the Republicans. Kay Ivey will win in Alabama. Bill Lee will win in Tennessee. Kevin Stitt will win in Oklahoma. Larry Hogan will win in Maryland. Remember the progressive upset, the establishment in the 2018 Democratic primary, but Larry Hogan, the winner there. Charlie Baker, the winner in Massachusetts. Chris Sununu, the winner in New Hampshire. And we now have a call out of Ohio, the governor race. Mike D. Wine, the projected winner, a big call there. The first Democratic governor, governor projection. Tom Wolf will go on to serve Pennsylvania for another four-year term. In Florida, Gwen Graham is currently behind a Republican opponent, Ron DeSantis. In Illinois, J.B. Pritzker in a face-off against incumbent Republican Bruce Rauner. This is a Republican seat. In Connecticut, the governor race between Ned Lamont and Bob Stefanowski is too close to call, but the Republican has a small lead. Republicans are in the lead in Rhode Island as well. Very hotly contested governor race here between Gina Raimondo and Alan Fung of the Republican Party. In Maine, the governor race between Chris Moody and Janet Mills is too close to call. If we look at the Senate race, we have 44 Republicans, 30 Democrats. You can also see down in the bottom left corner, the Senate race for Mississippi will go to the Republicans. And the Senate race for Minnesota, we will reveal over there when we make a characterization of it. There is currently 18 Republicans and 7 Democrats. Looks like the Republicans are on track to have a great night tonight. Let's go to the 8.30 p.m. poll closings. Arkansas will go to Asa Hutchinson. And then no change on the Senate and then just a bit of change on the governor map. So let's go straight to 9 p.m. hour poll closings. In New York, Kirsten Gillibrand will go on for another six-year term. In Minnesota, Amy Klobuchar will go on for another six-year term, much closer than people expected. In New Mexico, Martin Heinrich is the projected winner. In Pennsylvania, we can now project that Bob Casey is the projected winner. In Utah, Mitt Romney will go on for his first six-year term. In Wyoming, John Barrasso is the projected winner. In Nebraska, Deb Fisher is the projected winner. And in Texas, Ted Cruz, the Republican, will go on for another six-year term. And Indiana, Mike Brown, we can now project, will go on for another six-year term. In Tennessee, we can project Marsha Blackburn, the projected winner. And with all those calls, we just have some too close to call states. But we will come back to them um, when we call the race. But we're going to go straight over because um, we actually have some gubernatorial calls and then we'll, we can now project that something major is going to happen. So New York, Andrew Cuomo wins. In Texas, Greg Abbott, Chris Kobach, Pete Ricketts, Chrissy Noem, Mark Gordon, Doug Ducey, Scott Walker. That, that's a big call there in in Wisconsin, Maine, Sean Moody. This is the projection we wanted to make. We can now project that the Republicans, they will retain control. They will retain control of the United States Senate. Mitch McConnell will be the leader of the United States Senate for two more years at least. And as well, we can also make a projection the United States NGA. Brian Sandoval is the projected winner. Before we go any further, we will go all the way back past our governor projections to some of the too close to call states. We have some too close to call states. Kristen Cinema is currently behind in the state of Arizona to Martha McSally. In Michigan, Debbie Stadnow is ahead of his per Republican opponent, John James, who is endorsed by former can former presidential candidate Trump. In Wisconsin, Tammy Baldwin is is currently in the lead over her Republican opponent, Luke Rutherford. In Minnesota, Tina Smith is currently leading her Republican opponent, Karen Hoosley. In North Dakota, this is a big call 
too close to call between Kevin Kramer and Heidi Heitkamp in the state of North Dakota. In New York, and we've already seen all these projections, so we're going to go skip ahead to New Mexico gubernatorial race. It's currently too close to call between Michelle Grisham and Steve Pierce. This is a Republican seat currently held by a Republican. In Colorado, between Jared Polis and the Republican in this Colorado governor race. In Minnesota, Jane, Jim Johnson is currently leading his Republican opponent, Tim Waltz. In Michigan, the gubernatorial race between Gretchen Whitmer and Bill Schutte is currently too close to call Schutte with a small lead. In the United States Senate, you can see 51 to win. So the GOP has passed that with 51 seats. And the Democrats have 33. In the gubernatorial map, 27 Republicans, 8 Democrats. <coughs> it's now time for the 10 p.m. poll closings. In Iowa, Kim Reynolds is the projected winner of the gubernatorial match up there. In Nevada, Adam Laxalt is the projected winner, a big call there in Nevada. In Nevada, the Senate race here, Dean Heller currently leading his, his Democratic challenger, Jackie Rosen. This is a Republican seat. In Montana, it's too close to call between Matt Rosendale and John Tester, the incumbent. In North Dakota, this is a big call to make. Kevin Kramer is the projected winner, and we have many Republican games tonight, including Florida, where Rick Scott will oust the incumbent Democrat Bill Nelson from the state of Florida. In Connecticut, a big call to make. Bob Stefanowski is the projected winner in this deep blue state of Connecticut. In Rhode Island, again, deep blue state going to the Republican. Alan Fung, the projected winner. In the state of Florida, Ron DeSantis is the projected winner of the gubernatorial matchup here. In West Virginia, this is a huge game for the Republican. Patrick Morrissey is the projected winner. And in the United States Senate, we can see 34 Democrats, 54 Republicans. In the gubernatorial matchup, we have seen 30 Republicans, 8 Democrats. This is a very bad night for the Democrats. Um, and let's see what the 11 p.m. poll closings bring to them. Of course, Diane Feinstein is the projected winner, as well as Maria Cantwell and Maisie Hirono. Three Democrats being resent to the Senate in deep blue states. In Oregon, the gubernatorial matchup, sorry, not the Senate matchup, as it says there, but that Kate Brown is currently behind her Republican opponent in the Oregon gubernatorial race. In California, Gavin Newsom, the lieutenant governor, will be re-elected in Hawaii. David Egate will be the next governor of Hawaii. And in Idaho, Brad Little is the projected winner. This is a big call to make for the Democrats. Tammy Baldwin holds on by a hair's thread in the state of Wisconsin. In Missouri, another huge gain for the Republicans, Josh Hawley. Ever since 2006, the Republicans have wanted to get rid of McCaskill. And every time the Republican opponent doesn't seem too strong, but this time... This time around in 2018, Josh Hawley is the projected winner, beating Claire McCaskill in the state of Missouri. Illinois, a huge, huge, not a game, but people thought this would flip to Pritzker. It stayed with the Republicans in Illinois. In Michigan, Bill Schuette, the projected winner. And in the Senate, we can see 55 Republicans, 39 Democrats, so... Very impressive results there. And in the gubernatorial race, again, very impressive. Brian Sandoval will be the next head of the NGA. 34 Republicans, 10 Democrats. Stand by for our 12 a.m. state calls from the Senate races of Ohio, New Jersey, Nevada, and Arizona, as well as the gubernatorial races of Minnesota, New Mexico, and Colorado. In New Jersey, Bob Hugan able to oust Bob Menendez in this safe blue state. We're seeing many games from the Republicans in safe blue state. But this one is huge. Jim Renacci has just won 
asking Sherrod Brown in Ohio. Sherrod Brown had a 57% approval rating. Let that sink in. In Nevada, Dean Heller is the projected winner. And in Arizona, Martha McSally, the projected winner. In Minnesota, a huge gain for the Republicans. Jeff Johnson able to win in Minnesota, a state that has not gone Republican. Even in Ronald Reagan's landslide wins in both of his elections, Minnesota stayed with the Democrats. Now Minnesota is showing much more Republican tendencies. They just elected a Republican governor. In New Mexico, this is the first Democratic gain of tonight. Michelle Grisham able to win in the New Mexico gubernatorial race. Very close there that you can sort of expect it from a Democratic state like New Mexico. In Colorado, Jared Polis is the projected winner. And taking a look at the Senate composition, we have 38 Democrats, 59 Republicans. The only two states with still left to call is Virginia, where currently the Democrat is ahead, and in Montana, where currently also the Democrat is ahead. So we'll have to wait and see for from both of those states. And in the gubernatorial race, Oregon and Alaska are the two states out. There's 12 Democrats, 35 Republicans. Watch this. In Minnesota, Karen Hoosley is the projected winner of the special Senate election. They're very big news there. Minnesota, Minnesota is showing much more Republican tendency. In Virginia, wow, this is huge. Corey Stewart is the projected winner in Virginia, ousting Terry McAuliffe, one of the highest profile names in Virginia politics. In Montana, again, Matt Rosendale ousting. John Tester in the Montana Senate race. And in Oregon, the governor race here, Kate Brown, the projected winner. And in Alaska, of course, Mike Dunleavy is the projected winner, ousting Bill Walker. This is the final Senate makeup, 38 Democrats, 62 Republicans. The final gubernatorial race map, 37 Republicans, 13 Democrats. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and please like, comment, and subscribe.